Okay, what are crafting mods? What do they do? Which ones do you keep, sell, and which ones do you discard? <coughs> I actually don't recommend throwing any of them away, but I will get to that. If you were like me when I first started New World, I was overwhelmed with all the items that I started accumulating in my storage. I had no clue what 95% of these things did, but out of fear of throwing away something valuable, I held on to everything. Eventually I learned what most things did, but crafting mods still confused me and I had a lot of them. So I did some research, played around with crafting, and figured I'd throw out a quick video to give the basic overview of crafting mods to possibly save people the boring grind of searching the internet for answers. Because let's face it, we have more than enough grinding to do here. And with that, let's get into it. The short and simple, crafting mods give items attributes, also commonly referred to as perks, to a person's craft items. If you don't know what attributes or perks are, look at your weapons, your armors, for example, anything that gives you a percentage of something is the perk. Now, where can they be used? The forge, the workshop, the outfitting station, and the arcane repository. As of right now, they cannot be used at any other station. This could change as the game evolves. Crafting mods are mainly used on weapons, armor, apparel, tools, jewelry. But how do you use them and which ones are better? Using them is fairly simple. When crafting an item, you see a drop down option if you can use a crafting mod. Click on it and you'll have a visual of every crafting mod that can be used for that item. The highlighted ones will be what you have, the darkened out ones will be what you don't have. Each mod gives a different individual attribute or combination of attributes. In this example, I will be crafting a simple iron great axe. Please don't judge me. In my faction, we have certain things we focus on. Mine is logging, mining, and furniture. So I haven't bothered leveling this yet. But for the sake of this tutorial, I will be crafting the great axe. When I click on the dropdown, I'm given an array of mods to choose from. But the next question is, which do I use? This is where I find things get confusing for people. But the best question to ask is not which do I use, but who and what is it being crafted for? Every attribute perk strengthens different aspects of the skill tree. And to be completely honest, the combinations you can do between weapons, armor, jewelry, can seem somewhat endless and very opinion based. So to keep it simple, look at it this way. If you're like me and you run a life staff, you'll preferably want to add a mod that gives you a focus attribute. If you're not sure what you need or you want, look at your personal level attributes in the menu. You will see that each weapon has an attribute that strengthens it. Start there if it's for yourself or play around with different combos. For instance, if you run a great ax and a hatchet, Maybe give the great axe dexterity to complement the hatchet as that's its attribute. If you're crafting to sell, pick what's the most sought after perk for whatever you are making. If it's for a faction member, ask them what combination they want because this is a very vast and gray area. But anyways, back to the crafting. So I'm actually going to use the ancient bone totem and the wooden lost locket for this example. The reason is because they both use the same attributes, but in different orders. This way I can show you how the orders play out when crafting the item as the order does make a difference. When you see a mod that gives you two, whichever is first will be the bigger perk of the two. So just pick and choose based on preference. Side note, the Azov dropdown gives you a high chance of different perks like a gem slot, for example, just in case you were wondering. Okay, so now on to what to keep and what to discard as crafting mods can build up in your inventory fast. If you're looking to sell on my server personally anyways, most things that give luck chances like the outer zone sell for big money, but every server can be different, so check prices and be smart. Side note, some crafting mods like the board husk, for example, say they give a luck perk. It is a lie. I have searched every craftable item and I cannot find where it is used. Hopefully this changes in the future. Anyways, I personally don't sell luck mods because <laughs> I want them for myself, but as always do what you want to do first. As for the rest of it, again, it's geared towards your personal build. Play around while leveling up to see what works best for you. As for what to discard, I, like I said in the beginning of this video, none of them, not even the board husk that is useless at the moment because you will need them for repair kits. Repair kits require anywhere from one to three crafting mods based off tier. So any that you don't need or want, throw them into that as those kits save you gold in the end because to fix your weapons or armor, it costs you sweet, sweet money if you go about the traditional just repair way. So make repair kits, use them there. I'm going to link a great website I found on New World in the description. It does a great job of breaking down each craft mod and weapon combinations if you need a little bit more insight. And on that note, I hope this video helped and I will see you next time.